Jenny B and I have a little steam nail gel remove machine here so look at that I had it on my wish list on Amazon and my husband got it for me so yay so I'm gonna take these off I wanted them on for a while but yeah I don't like they came out crooked so I, I wasn't thrilled with looking at them so I'm gonna take them off so let's see how this machine does so it comes with this let's check it out okay here's the machine Ooh, little dish instruction power cord that's important so So this looks like it's extra of the sleeve that goes in here. So, oh, that comes off. So this unlocks and these rubber things for your fingers, it comes with two extras. So I'll put that aside. It seems to come off and on. Okay. Take everything out. Lid. The plug. And there's the port. So let's check this out. Plugging it in. And there's a little thing here for the power. I got my acetone. Whoop, we got lights. Okay. So this must just, oh, easy. Just hooks there and my fingers go in to steam off the stuff. So they're not bad. I'll put it on. Looks like there's a oh there's a lock. Maybe maybe not. We'll figure that out. Let's see. Instructions. Steam off. So I have all the stuff in here. Pour five milliliters of nail polish remover or 100% acetone liquid. I have mine in a little plastic baggie. There it is, massive bottle from Sally's. You can even get this acetone at the dollar store, which is great. Walmart, you can get it anywhere. Use nail file to file off polish. Do not skip this step. So I'm gonna trim them all down and remove the polish. Uh, remove let me get my stuff out but I'm going to trim them down I got my little tools and a nail file so perfect okay you may have to repeat the steps makes sense and connect the power supply touch the switch button to turn on machine let the red indicator light will be made a beep sound that did that when the green indicator turns on with a few beep sound insert your fingernails okay so i didn't do that part yet so i am going to oh it says on the bowl so all the way up here is 60 milliliters. So you just need a little bit at the bottom of the dish for five milliliters. Where is it? I saw it. It's 
down here. I saw five milliliters, now I don't see it again. So I'm just gonna pour some in. I don't need more than one bowl, so I'm gonna take the extra bowl away. Perfect. As my nose is right in the acetone, that's lovely. And get my paper towel because as usual I made a mess. At least my desk's clean now, right? <laughs> okay. I'm gonna put my instructions over there. So let's see. That goes under here. Okay, that looks like on and maybe not. Okay, one side's on really well. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, I'll be back once I figure out how to put this on. Oh, okay, I'm back. So there's a little notch in the side here that you put over this side and it can twist. That doesn't make sense, but if you ever get it, you'll figure it out. So I'm gonna turn this on. It's gonna heat up and I'm gonna take my paper here. I'm gonna file off, trim and file and I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. The green indicator light came on after it beeped, just like it said it would. I'm gonna take my little cup off. Put my things away. So I'm going to put my hand in and we'll see how this goes. So I'll be back. Okay, it beeped and the light turned yellow. Let's see how far we go on. Oh, that's coming off nicely. I'll probably have to go another round. But the a prey gel tip is super soft, which is awesome. It's, look at that. Oh, that's awesome. So I'm going to see if I can wedge things under. Not bad. So I'm going to scrape and probably do that process one more time. That's probably all I'll need, honestly. So it's about eight minutes under. But this is so much easier than, than the bowl. And I like this, that my hand is not in the acetone. So, so there is pluses. That gel is super soft. Very cool. So I am going to heat it up again. And see where we get. So stay tuned. Okay, round two. Let's see how they come off. This one should, oh yeah, pretty good. And the scrape. And I'll fast forward through this part. See you on the other side.
I just have to buff them over, buff them a little. That thing worked great. So to get off the um, a prey soft gel nails, I just had to soak my hand in twice and scrape. So I say that was a um, good purchase. So I'm just going to buff the rest of these. As you can see, my little nubby nails are back in their same pitiful shape that they were before. So I'm going to do that and I'll see you in my next video. So where I have something else on my nails, probably another soft gel tip. I think I'm going to do that. I have a couple different things in mind. So we'll see what I plan next. So thank you so much for joining me. Don't give me, don't forget to give me a nice thumbs up. Go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. So you'll be notified of all my upcoming videos and I'll see you next time. Take care and toodaloo.